Hello everyone and welcome to the MuseConf tutorial. Today we'll be looking at how to download, install, as well as use the program to convert music from different accounts that we have. So if you head on over to MuseConf.com, you can check out all of the features as well as download the program for Windows. And if you have any questions about how it works, you can just go to that section or head on over to the frequently asked questions to help with troubleshooting. So once we've clicked the download button, you can just make sure we download the Windows version here. We'll let that download. And sometimes when you launch it, it will ask to make sure that you have the most recent version and you'll just want to click on yes to download the most recent version. That way everything will work properly, there'll be less bugs, and there might even be some new features implemented. So once we load up MusicConf, we can see all of the things we can import from on the left here. And this is gonna be our main menu here, as well as our account settings up here, where we can send feedback, check for updates, or visit the website. So the first thing we're gonna take a look at doing is transferring playlists from Spotify over to Amazon Music. And just to show the sheer power that this program has, we're gonna be transferring a couple of playlists at once. So before we transfer, I'm gonna look inside of my Spotify here. You can see I have three playlists called Popular One, Two, and Three, and these just contain the songs that we're gonna be transferring to Amazon Music. So the first thing we wanna do is log in to our Amazon Music account. And once we've logged into our account, it's going to load up all of the playlists contained within this product. So Amazon Music has all of these songs inside of it here. Now let's go ahead and log in to our Spotify account. And then we'll also want to click on OK to approve it to access our account. And once we confirm that, it's going to, just like before, load up all of our playlists for us. And I'm going to go ahead and select these three popular playlists, which each contain three popular songs. Now one thing that I should know is while transferring music using MuseConf, you'll want to select more popular songs as these are more likely to be cross-referenced in the different databases. For example, if we pick a popular song, it's likely to be in both Spotify and Amazon Music. But if we picked a song that might just be on Spotify, we're not going to be able to transfer it to any of these other services. So I'm going to select the album or playlists that I want to transfer and click on transfer selected or click on this transfer button here. And then I'm going to select Amazon and a normal transfer. It might ask you to log in again, so just do that if it asks. And now it's going to search through each of these playlists, add them to Amazon Music from Spotify, and then add the songs into those playlists as well. And the time this takes will usually depend on the amount of playlists and songs you have selected, but in general, the process goes by very quickly. All right, and once it's finished the transfer process, we can go ahead and check out our playlists in Amazon Music. If we go and log into our Amazon Music account, and we scroll down here and look at our playlists, you can see now we have our Popular 1, Popular 2, and Popular 3 tracks added. I'm gonna go ahead and go into my Spotify account and remove this Depeche Mode playlist. That way we can see if we can get it from Amazon back into Spotify. So inside of our Amazon Music section, I'll click on Depeche Mode. So inside of our Amazon Music, I'll click on Depeche Mode, click on the Convert button, and this time we'll go to Spotify and a normal transfer. Approve it with Spotify. And now it's going to again go through and search for the tracks that are in here and add them to our Spotify playlist. So if we go back to our Spotify window and refresh all of our playlists, you can see we now have Depeche Mode, which has been added from our Amazon Music account. Now let's go ahead and convert to some other useful formats. If I grab my Spotify Depeche Mode playlist, let's go ahead and convert this to a CSV file. We'll just click on Save. And then we'll select a place to save this. We'll just call this Depeche Mode Playlist from Spotify and click on Save. And just like that, we've saved it into a CSV file. So I can open that up in, say, Microsoft Excel. And it's going to have all of our track information and playlist information organized here in these columns and rows. And we can do the same thing with Amazon Music. Simply log into our account. Select a playlist, click on Convert, 
CSV and save. And this time we have a Guns N' Roses playlist. So I'll save that. And again, we can load this up in Microsoft Excel or any program that recognizes CSVs for that matter. And it has all of our information, including the track ID, track name, artist name, and album name. If we wanted to, we could grab one of these CSV files and actually add it to Amazon Music or Spotify. So if I click on CSV and open up a file here, I'll go ahead and click on my Depeche Mode playlist from Spotify. So what I'm going to do is click on the two files I want to transfer here and click on this Add button here. And now we have our album from the CSV file. We'll click on Convert and Amazon Normal Transfer. Log in really quick. And now it's going to do the same process where it searches through the Amazon Music playlists and adds the songs that it can find. And once it's complete, it's going to go back to our menu here. If we go back to Amazon Music, log in really quick. It's going to reload our playlists. And as you can see, we have Depeche Mode. But up here, we have our CSV file with all of the tracks inside of there. And we can grab that file and transfer it to any of the other services here. All right, now let's take a look at the title feature. So I'll go ahead and log into my title account. And this is going to load up all of our title playlists. Let's go ahead and do Spotify and Amazon Music to title. So I'll grab my Spotify and just like usual, we'll click on OK to give it permission. And once it loads, let's go ahead and grab our Depeche Mode album here. And we're going to transfer this to title and we'll do a normal transfer. Sometimes it's going to ask you to put in your credentials again. So just go ahead and do that and log in. And as you can see, that went by very fast, but there were only two songs to transfer. Now let's go ahead and transfer some Amazon Music over to Tidal. So I'm going to select a couple playlists here. Let's go with Guns N' Roses, Depeche Mode, and Cajun. And then I'm going to click on Transfer Selected, Tidal, and Normal Transfer. And now it's going to, just like any other time, search through all the songs in the playlist and add them to our selected service, in this case going from Amazon Music over to Tidal. And once that process is complete, all of your albums from Amazon Music or Spotify or any of the other services you've used will be sent over to your Tidal page. Alright guys, that's it for this video on how to use MuseConf and make sure you download and install the program to check out all of the cool features included with it.